Hello my dear friends myself is professor dr rajendra deshpande and we are starting with kai chikitsa audio book today is a 21st of november 2020 and i welcome you all in this audio session kai chikitsa today i will start with the basic principles of kai chikitsa and in this audio session i will like to cover the topics like for example the discussion about the word kaya what is meant by kaya we will discuss something about nirukti that is etymology we will also try to understand the paryayi or the synonyms then we will try to understand the bhed or the types of the word kaya then we will start with the chikitsa the word chikitsa we will also discuss the nirukti or etymology of chikitsa then paryayi or the synonyms of the word chikitsa and also few definitions or the paribhasha of the word kai chikitsa so let us start with the topic kai chikitsa audio book part 1 kai the word means the body human physical body kai is also is equal to mind the meaning of the kai is mind and the third meaning is kaya is equal to agni so that there are three meanings kaya means human body physical kaya means mind and kaya means agni and of course the chikitsa means treatment procedure or management so kaya chikitsa is the treatment of physical diseases like for example uh, fever or the jwara ati sar or the loose motions and also psychological diseases like for example unmad or the hysteria you try to understand most of these diseases are the result of basically problem or derangement in the agni or the derangement of metabolism agni represents body metabolism so all the diseases they are there rogaha sarve api mandegnau because of the faulty metabolic process okay kai chikitsa word can be compared with internal medicine from modern medicine so kai chikitsa means ayurvedic kai chikitsa is equal to internal medicine now i am talking about the nirukti or etymology of the word kai chiyate asmin asthyadikam iti kaya ha this is from raghuvira shabdakosh here they are mentioned kaya means body in which rasa rakta mounds asthi etc are accumulated the sanskrit root chi chayane means to collect chi chayane means to collect what we are collecting we are collecting food we are collecting the nutrition for the body that means the body takes in inside the food and after its assimilation in the body it builds up in the various tissues like rasa rakta mounds etc are you understanding so the whole process of metabolism whole process of metabolism means kaya second we will go further ashtanga rudaya chapter 1 and commentary by aruna dutt chiyate chiyate prashast दोष धातु मल इति काया व्हाट इज दिस पर्टिकुलर इटिमोलॉजी इज एक्सप्लेनिंग और डेफिनेशन इज एक्सप्लेनिंग काय और द फिजिकल बॉडी इज दैट इन विच दोष वात पित्त कफ धातु सप्त धातु रस रक्त मांस मेद अस्थि मज्जा शुक्र एंड मल मूत्र पुरुष एंड स्वेद आर एक्यूमुलेटेड because you know this particular sentence dosha dhatu mala moolam hi shariram body is composed of dosha dhatu mala this is given by ashtanga rudaya another definition or the nirukti kayasaha naam antaragne he antaragni it is given in charak samhita sutra sthan chapter 30 shlok number 28 kaya means agni or digestive fire of the body next 
काय चित्त प्रकृती चित्त चित्त इज अ माइंड सुश्रुत शारीर स्थान चैप्टर फोर श्लोक एटी एट देअर ही हॅज सुश्रुत हॅज मेन्शन काय मीन्स सायकोलॉजिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिफरंट डेफिनेशन ऑर निरुक्ती ऑफ काय वर्ड नाव पर्यायी ऑर सिनॉनिम्स वॉट आर द डिफरंट नेम्स फॉर द वर्ड काय फर्स्ट इज कले वर कले वर गिवन बाय अमर कोश अनदर इज अ गात्र अनदर वर्ड फॉर द काय शारीरम शारीरम वर्ड इज गिवन बाय सुश्रुत शारीरस्थान चैप्टर नंबर फोर देन संहनम 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 दैट इज चरक शारीर स्थान चैप्टर नंबर फोर इट इज मेन्शन दैट शरीर और द काय कैन बी कॉल्ड एज अ संवनम संवननम अनदर वर्ड इज अ देह देन मूर्ति एंड देन तनु ऑल आर द डिफरंट नेम्स और द सिनॉनिम्स फॉर द वर्ड काय नाउ एज द सुश्रुत हैज सेड दैट काय इज ऑल्सो कंसर्न विद द माइंड एंड साइकोलॉजिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन he has added or he has mentioned sushruta he has explained satvik kaya rajasik kaya and tamasik kaya so satvik means the persons in whom there is a predominance of sattva quality of the mind satvik psychological types are again divided into different types like brahm arsh mahendra yamya varuna कौबेर एंड गांधर्व वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल आफ्टरवर्ड्स नाउ राजसिक सायकोलॉजिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राजसिक काय एक्सप्लेन बाय सुश्रुत पर्सन हु हैव द प्रिडॉमिनंटली राजसिक क्वालिटी इन देअर माइंड एंड देर आर सिक्स टाइप्स लाइक आसूर राक्षस पैशाच्य सर्प प्रेत एंड शाकून and lastly tamasik kaya this constitution is divided into three types that is pashav matsya and vanaspatya okay after understanding the word kaya dr deshpande is moving ahead with the word chikitsa now here what is meant by chikitsa nirukti or etymology kit swasthe सन भावे कित दिस इज द ओरिजिनल संस्कृत वर्ड कित स्वस्थे सन भावे दैट इज गिवन इन द रघुवीर कोश देन रोगापनयने चिकित्सा मीन्स रोग अपनयने टू रिमूव द डिसीज दिट इज गिवन इन द शब्द कोश देन या क्रिया व्याधि हरणी सा चिकित्सा या क्रिया व्याधी हरणी सा चिकित्सा द ट्रीटमेंट मीन्स दैट इज एक्टिविटी विच कैन क्युअर द डिसीज व्याधी हरिणी ओके देन द चिकित्सा वर्ड और चिकित्सा वर्ड इज फॉर्म बाय द रूट वर्ड कित रोगाप नय नई एज आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू टेक ऑफ द डिसीज फ्रॉम युअर बॉडी नो आई एम गिविंग यू द पर्याय और द सिनॉनिम्स ऑफ द वर्ड चिकित्सा Vyadhi haram, the activity which destroys the diseases. Prakruti sthapanam, this is the word for chikitsa, which brings dosh, dhatu and mala back to the equilibrium. Prakruti sthapana. Upachara, that register the diseases. Ruk pratikriya, ruk means pain, which removes the pain of the disease. रोगापनयने द एक्टिविटी विच ब्रिंग्स रिलीफ फ्रॉम द डिसीजेस भेष ज मीन्स मेडिसिन औषध ऑल्सो मीन्स द मेडिसिन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिनॉनिम्स ऑफ चिकित्सा आयु दैट इज लाइफ पथ्य एंड अपथ्य डूज एंड डोंट्स देन प्रायश्चित्त इट इज अंडरस्टूड that the suffering from the disease destroys or whatever we are suffering is because of the, our sin and we must remove the sin okay 
by some particular remedies for that next kriya that is action against the disease chesta means the same kriya activity against the disease then bhishajya karma procedure done by the vaidya for removing disease bhishajya or bishak karma or vaidya karma then another some words for the chikitsa Pra prakriti vighat prakriti vighat that destroys the pathogenesis nidan parivarjanam charak samhita vimanasthan chapter number 3 nidan parivarjanam means chikitsa the one in which we remove the root cause of the disease nidan means etiological factors then dhatu samya karya chikitsa that establish the balance of the tissues dhatu samya charak sutra sthan chapter number 16 vishuddha chikitsa which activity which will not create any other complications or the side effects that is explained by charak in nidana sthan chapter number 8 swabhav parama chikitsa swabhav uparam chikitsa that gives the strength increasing the healing power of the body and cures the disease which is explained in charaka samhita sutra sthan chapter 16 and the last few lines or the discussion about the definitions or paribhasha of the word kai chikitsa total so ayurvedic treatment procedures which reduces the pain are called as kai chikitsa second definition of kai chikitsa the procedures which remove the cause of the disease or nidan third definition or paribhasha of kai chikitsa the procedures which destroy the amalgamation between aggravated dosha and weak tissues and channels or organs like you know what is vyadhi dosha dushya sammurchana janito vyadhi hi so we want to remove that pathogenesis fourth definition or paribhasha of the word kai chikitsa treatment should aim at establishing the equilibrium of tissue dosha and waste products charaka samhita nidana sthan chapter 8 next fifth definition the correct treatment cures the disease without producing any side effects or other diseases in the body that is i atrogenic problems it is given in charaka sutra sthan chapter 16 next definition of kai chikitsa the treatment should be directed at removing the causes which produce the vitiation of tissues and introduce measures that will establish the balance of tissues and doshas explained in charak sutra sthan chapter 16 and last definition of the word kai chikitsa physicians attendant or nursing staff medicine and patient which is called as chatushpad are the four factors responsible for cure of the disease when these factors four factors are present with their four best qualities each the treatment is always successful my dear friends myself professor deshpand has started kai chikitsa audio book today is the first part where dr deshpande has talked about the word kai he has talked about the word chikitsa and he also gave gave the definitions of the word kai chikitsa together so this is the nearly end of our today's session i wish you all the best please subscribe my youtube channel and also ask your friends to register in this english group to understand or to always hear something good from dr deshpande about the word about the subject kai chikitsa please prepare a separate notebook mention the date over it and prepare the notes and in every audio session i would like to ask you one question so today's question is please give a write me personally minimum 3 definitions of the word kai chikitsa minimum 3 definitions of the word total kai chikitsa that was the end topic so thank you very much i wish you all the best please take good care of yourself i wish you 
हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ थैंक यू बाय बाय